There's a big new development to tell you about in the fight against HIV, and a company in Maryland is leading the way. Yeah, American Gene Technologies just received approval from the FDA to begin a human trial of a program for a cure to HIV. ABC 7's Justin Hinton has the details that you'll see only on 7. For 12 years, American Gene Technologies has worked on a specific cure for HIV, and now the company has the approval from the FDA to begin human trials on its latest efforts. They were cracking out the champagne, and we were all sitting around this room, actually, and um, just uh, celebrating. Their work builds off a previous study by Sangamo Therapeutics that clipped part of the protein that plays a major part in HIV infection. AGT's method adds a gene to block that protein. If it somehow integrates, it won't matter because it can't express. If it can't express, it can't make new HIV virons. It can't move to take over the whole body. CEO Jeff Galvin says it takes a blood draw from a participant whose infected white T cells will be modified to fight the virus and then reinfuse into that patient after 73 days to make sure it's safe. The number of HIV T cells that we're returning to the body that fight HIV, that are immune to HIV, is 2,000 to one. He feels really good about it based on the progress so far, but he's remaining cautiously optimistic, as is Matt Sharp, currently living with HIV and who was a part of that Sangamo study. It's a better way than before. So we have we have two-pronged strategy and maybe, um, I don't know, we're, let's just wait and see. Even if it doesn't work out this time around, they both say it's another step in the right direction of finding a cure. Can I ask how old you are? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I just turned 64. Do you think there will be a cure in your lifetime? I do. In Rockville, Justin Hinton, ABC 7 News. So the initial phase of the trial will take six people. The plan is to start the blood draw process at the end of September or beginning of October. That 73-day wait could make for a very special Christmas gift for the first participant.